Welcome to the reveal of the Toyota Land Cruiser, which has been absent from our shores for the past couple of years. And if you want to know everything about the Land Cruiser, you've come to the right place. But before we get into all of that, let's go to me live, not live, but present in Salt Lake City, Utah, to take a look at what the Land Cruiser really looks like up close and personal. So take it away other me. Yes, this is a big one. The Toyota Land Cruiser is back and it looks better than ever. The specs are better than ever, if you're being honest. But I mean, just look at this thing. Look at it. This is the Land Cruiser edition and this over here is the 1958 edition. We're at the Land Cruiser Heritage Museum. This is a fabulous place full of Land Cruiser culture and history. And I mean, I have to admit, I was at the Lexus GX. Go check that video out if you haven't seen it. I was at the Lexus GX reveal. And I thought that that thing looked amazing. This, no, 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 this, this, this is better. This is better, okay? I am not making this up. I am smitten with the way that this thing looks. Let's go check it out in more detail. Now, as you've probably guessed, I am actually in Georgia right now. And because I knew I was gonna be super busy at the Land Cruiser reveal, I went ahead and recorded this with all of the technical specifications. And I'm gonna cut back and forth between current me and future me, who's actually at the Land Cruiser reveal, as I go through all of the cool things about the new Toyota Land Cruiser. And I know what some of you guys are already thinking. It's technically like the Land Cruiser Prado, and it's smaller than the old Land Cruiser, and it's got a different engine and powertrain. We're gonna get to that, hold your horses, but let's start with what you really want to know. All right, I love the back end of this thing. I'm gonna start here. I love these little square rectangular taillights. They look awesome. In some of the pictures and like the profile and from the rear, this thing looks so much like, like an 80 series or something. They really nailed all the Land Cruiser sort of visual cues. You look at the profile, it looks like one. You look at the front, it looks like another generation. You look at the back and it looks like another generation. I mean, this is a success all the way around. Like, just look at this grill. Look at this grill with the rectangular headlights. And on the 1958 edition, you get the circular LED lights. Like, this looks awesome. I just had to bust in here and like highlight this because in person, I don't think you can appreciate in pictures how good this thing looks as sort of a cohesive design. I love it. And I'm, I don't say that lightly. I love it. See what I mean? Little circular lights right here. I hope you can hear me because it is loud in here. There's like 130 automotive press journalists, YouTubers, TikTokers, everybody in the automotive industry is here for the Land Cruiser. And it's not hard to see why. First of all, it is slightly smaller. It's a lot cheaper, but it's just as capable off-road, you know, theoretically, as the last-gen Land Cruiser. Here are the basics that you wanna know, and we'll get to the price in a second, because I know I just said it's a lot cheaper, and you're like, wait a second, what? The Land Cruiser's a lot cheaper? Well, it kinda is, but we'll get to that. This Land Cruiser is based on Toyota's TNGAF ladder frame chassis, which means it is smaller than the 200 series Land Cruiser. How much smaller? Well, it's approximately 4.4 inches narrower and about 1.2 inches shorter than the outgoing 200 series. I don't know why I said approximately because those are exact measurements. Currently, there is one powertrain. Yes, just one powertrain, which might be contributing to the reduced price. And you've probably been reading lots of rumors and you're probably wondering what it is, or if you already know what it is, you're probably getting your fingers ready to complain about it. It's a 2.4 liter turbo four. It's the iForce Max hybrid engine from the new Toyota Tacoma. It makes 326 horsepower and a healthy 465 pound feet of torque. That runs through an eight speed automatic transmission. And it's good for a 6,000 pound tow rating, which is not quite as high as the sister platform sharing Lexus GX, but it's close. Speaking of the GX, let's compare those powertrains for just a second. The Lexus GX has a twin turbo V6, making 349 horsepower and 476 pound-feet of 
torque. So the power and torque numbers are pretty similar as of right now. However, Lexus says there is an uprated hybrid engine coming, which we're probably thinking is some version of the iForce Max Twin Turbo V6, which means it could have up to like 580 pound-feet of torque, and that would kind of make sense. Now, back to the Land Cruiser. There are three grades available. There's the 1958 edition, there is the Land Cruiser edition, let's just call it the pure Land Cruiser edition, and then there is the limited quantity first edition. The first edition is limited to 5,000 units, and it gets a roof rack, it gets some rock rails, and it gets special leather inside. The 1958 grade has sort of round LED accent lights like the very first Land Cruiser, while the Land Cruiser pure grade has sort of rectangular lights like the FJ62, or at least that's what they tell us. All versions of the Land Cruiser are still built in Japan. I know some of you are really happy about that. I understand. I mean, Forerunner, Prado, Land Cruiser, pretty legendary for their reliability, all built in Japan. I'm wearing my Lexus GX shirt because, you know, uh, Land Cruiser, Prado, it's all kind of connected. Uh, and I'm a dork. So just got pictures of the Toyota Land Cruiser. It's so good looking, y'all. Just wait, you're gonna really like it when you check it out. Um, it looks like a giant box, but the pictures were bright blue, so it's like a bright blue box that like can go off-road and do all the awesome things. And then the interior is like beautiful. Like nice buttons and gauges and all the stuff, like it looks super fancy, but like in an I'm going off-roading kind of way. So like fancy, and I'm sorry, I don't know where to look. Like I know, I don't know. So sorry, honey, if you want to delete this whole video. Um, but anyway, Toyota Land Cruiser, new one, you should go check it out. What about the off-roady stuff? Because that is like the essence of what a Land Cruiser is. Well, the front suspension is double wishbone with twin tube shocks, and the rear suspension is multi-link on coil springs. So, you know, we're off to a good start. It has full-time four-wheel drive, a center locking differential, and a two-speed transfer case. It also has a limited slip and rear locking differential as well. So, you know, it's probably gonna be about as capable. We'll get to drive it later, but you know, these are very promising statistics. It also has a front sway bar disconnect available on the Land Cruiser edition and the first edition. There's 8.7 inches of ground clearance and don't worry, recovery tow hooks are standard. It's been a bit of a complaint in the past on some TRD Pro models. Well, you get your recovery tow hooks on the Land Cruiser. Crawl control is also standard, as is downhill assist. Multi-terrain select, available in four high and four low now, is available on the Land Cruiser and the first edition. And the multi-terrain monitor is available on the Land Cruiser and standard on the first edition. Rock rails and additional steel skid plates are available to be added through Toyota. So you can kind of shop for the upgrades for your Land Cruiser, and then you can roll them into your monthly payment, which is nice to be able to semi-customize it right off the showroom floor. I'm sure it's not like tons of people are going to be customizing their Land Cruisers, right? I mean, come on. It's going to be absolute bananas when it comes out. I mean, I can't wait to see some of the overland rigs that are built out of this thing. Oh, finally got some time in the front seat of the Toyota Land Cruiser. So can someone who is six foot six comfortably fit inside the Land Cruiser? Yes, I can comfortably fit inside the Land Cruiser. In fact, I could easily fit. I've got room to put the seat back further if I need it to be. And can I sit behind myself? Let's go find out. All right, look at this. Six foot six sitting behind six foot six. And I've got room to spare. Now, full disclosure, if I was actually putting the seat where I wanted it to be, I would probably have it scooted back a little bit further. But I am six foot six, so I can fit behind myself easily, comfortably, not even a challenge. I probably would have the front seat back a little farther. Though. So I don't have cargo space figures yet. You can see the cargo space is pretty ample back here. So I would think it's gonna be somewhere in that kind of 30, 40 something cubic feet range. However, I'm guessing that this floor here is raised for the hybrid batteries. I don't think the GX was compromised by this because it didn't have a hybrid system. So if you are holding out for that hybrid GX or you want the Land Cruiser, you're probably gonna lose a few inches of cargo space right here to the hybrid system. 
fair trade in my opinion. The 1958 grade serves as sort of your base model grade. So you get the eight inch touch screen and sort of a fabric interior. However, considering, you know, kind of the mechanical goodness of the Land Cruiser, sort of like some of Toyota's TRD off-road models, this will probably serve as an excellent starting point for people that wish for at a more personal touch to their Toyota Land Cruiser. The Land Cruiser grade has goodies such as the heated and cooled soft tech seats as well as the much, much larger 12.3 inch touchscreen running Toyota's familiar, now familiar, infotainment system. A 14 speaker JBL audio system is available on the Land Cruiser grade and it is standard on the first edition grade. So, you know, you can enjoy your tunes while you're out traversing the trails. And here's something you're probably not super interested in, but all grades will get Toyota's improved Toyota Safety Sense 3.0. Now, that is notable for some, you know, reason that you might not be thinking of. The 200 series was a pretty old platform. So some of the infotainment and safety systems were kind of ancient and outdated or just straight up not available. Now that we've switched over to this modern architecture, it will come with all of Toyota's upgraded safety systems. Now, what about that price? I told you we would come back to the price. Well, Toyota isn't quoting specifics just yet, but the press release did say, very interestingly, that the new Land Cruiser would start at mid 50s. So let's say $55,000. Now, if you're a fan of the outgoing Land Cruiser, that is significantly less than the outgoing Land Cruiser. And if you think that the GX, the upcoming GX, is probably gonna be somewhere in the kind of 65 to 70 range to start and go up to probably 90, 95, this is encouraging because it means this Land Cruiser would start around 55 and maybe go up to 70 or 75 if you started maxing it out, especially with all the off-road goodies. Now, for a Land Cruiser, that kind of is a bargain. And you could argue that this one, because it's based on sort of the Prado bones, is smaller. But I would say, hold your horses, okay? Hold your, not so fast, my friend. Hold on there just a second. When I went to the GX reveal, one of the things I noticed that I really liked about the GX is that it's essentially a very large two-row SUV with a substantial amount of cargo space because of that multi-link rear suspension. This should have nearly identical figures. It was very roomy. I have a tall family. If you're new to the channel, I'm six foot six. My wife is 5'9", I have a six foot one daughter and a 5'11 daughter. The GX, I thought size-wise, is perfect for us because I have a kid that can drive, so we don't need to all pack into the car all the time. This Land Cruiser, with two rows and the same amount of cargo space, it could really be kind of the perfect size for a family where your kids may be a little bit older and you don't need to carry all that stuff and you still would like to go on adventures in your super reliable Land Cruiser. And guys, before I sign off, I wanna make a comment about the powertrain. Yes, you could say that the old Land Cruiser was powered by a sort of indestructible, immortal, impossible to break V8 engine. Toyota's old V8 engines were all pretty much amazing in whatever application that they were in. But this provides you with a ton of torque. It's going to be powering the Tacoma and now the Land Cruiser. I just would say if I'm gonna bet on forced induction, I'm gonna bet on a manufacturer that's going to add that to their vehicles, in my opinion, I'm gonna bet on Toyota and Lexus, okay? We all miss the V8s. I'm no different than you. I miss the sort of naturally aspirated power and we're seeing it give way to forced induction. But I have confidence in Toyota and Lexus, more so than I would have in a lot of brands. And if the power is there, and the torque is there, and the off-road ability hasn't changed, then in my opinion, the Land Cruiser hasn't changed. It still has the same essence that it had before. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of the Land Cruiser. What do you think of the styling? What do you think of the powertrain? What do you think of the capability? And what do you think maybe it will be like in the future? And as soon as I get a chance to get behind the wheel, you know I'm gonna bring it to you on the channel, okay? I'm a fan of what I've seen so far, and other me has probably said a whole bunch of other stuff that I'm not even currently aware of because I gotta catch a flight in the morning to go become other me. And on that confusing note, I'll leave you kind of marinating on that for a while, all right? Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Click the links below if you wanna see a little bit of that GX uh, reveal that I went to, and I'll catch you in the next video, all right?